I just had like a thought and I just, you know, I wanted to just tell you about it. Um, recently, well, um, back trace a few months ago, um, I just finished my GED. Mind you, I'm 30 years old. Um, I never thought that I would finish getting a GED. I, I never thought I'd get one, period. Um, and I, I, I come to you and I say this because we all have that thing where we get to a certain age or even if it's not a certain age, even if it's just like, you know, not wanting to do it because we feel like we're depending upon someone. <clears throat> My thought is this. It does not hurt to need help with something. That's whether it's getting a GED or going to college, doing anything, um, needing help with being a parent. Um, I just, I know a lot of people that, you know, they think, oh, I'm too old to need help. You know, I should know this. Yes and no. You're never too old to need help. You're never too, too smart to need help. You know, if you want to get a GED or if you want to go to college, do it. They can help you. Um, I went to Southern Regional, which is, um, I thought it was just a regular GED class. But actually, it's actually a college and they do GED programs. And I'm not advertising for them. I'm not doing any of that. I'm just saying that the teachers in the Bainbridge campus were really, really good. It's a small, small campus. It's a small area. The campus itself, the college, is big. But the, um, the GED program, I mean, you have students, obviously, but it's not, like, <clears throat> majorly full. And I felt, like, really comfortable, like, I don't know I don't know how to explain it like the teachers were like very helpful um, they didn't you know they didn't make you feel dumb some people make you feel like you should know this but they weren't like that they were like you know we're here to we're here sorry we're here to help you uh, we're here to make sure that you pass it's not like um, you gotta know it and I did this twice before the last time I, I did it and every time I went it was like you got to do this you got to do that and it was like rush 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 but with them they put you where you needed to be and they helped you hands-on and I, I promise you it was worth it and I don't know why I got on that but I guess because that is what made me think this oh, but that is what really made me think of what it is that we feel as people. We feel like we don't need help from someone and um, because we're too old or we're too smart, which that is not true. You can be a smarty pants, but you're not technically smart. That's like me. I'm a smart aleck. I feel like I know it all, but I don't. And um, just in general, don't feel like you cannot do something because you feel like it's out of your league or you just, what the heck are y'all doing? Okay, sorry, this is a person driving. They don't know where they're going. Um, but just don't feel like you, you can't do something because you feel like you don't know it or you feel like you're too old to get help with what you need to know and just ask ask help ask ask me ask anyone ask your neighbor ask your just just know who you're talking to first of all that's another thing you don't just randomly talk to people which I'm not saying don't randomly talk to people, but you gotta know who you're talking to. Some people are not out to help you, they're out to hurt you. And I, I discovered that as well. You know, sometimes you think, oh wow, I just need help. And you know, I'm gonna go to this person and they're gonna help me. That's a lie. A lot of people are out to harm you more than help you. 
So just know who you're dealing with. Just don't feel like you have to, whatchamacallit. Um, I'm going to end my video because I don't want to feel weird. But that's just my little helpful hints. Um, yes, just me, Melissa, regular person. Nothing special about me. Alrighty, y'all have a wonderful day and y'all stay safe. Bye.